Hello and welcome to our video for assisting in winterizing a marine petrol engine. Let's get started by running through some useful tools to have on hand. Pictured here are the basics. Flush must for running the engine ashore, ring spanners, we use 17 and 11 millimeters, but some applications may vary. Filter wrench, sump pump, wire brush, screwdriver, a paintbrush for greasing, and a funnel and hose for adding some antifreeze. Some kind of cleaning rag or paper is also a good idea. Right, let's get started. We recommend that the first job is to fill up your fuel tanks completely. This prevents condensation inside the tanks during storage. We recommend adding in a fuel add additive that absorbs water and stabilises the fuel over winter. We are then going to get ready to run the engine up. Running the engine with the fuel additive already in the tank ensures that the fuel pump and fuel lines all have treated fuel inside during the layup period. We like the Starbright products and use either the easy to store, easy to start or the Startron additive. We, we recommend that you use a suitable corrosion inhibitor to spray the engine and drive. Antifreeze, fogging oil, a good quality waterproof grease and some fuel additive that we have already mentioned. So now let's connect the flush muffs to the stern drive. Fit them over the intakes as pictured and connect to a water supply. Our muffs have a hose lock style fitting on them, so to connect simply press on. Turn on the water and start your engine. Run the engine for around 10 to 15 minutes. This brings it up to temperature and flushes all of the salt water out of the engine. It also warms up the oil. If you are changing your oil, oil filter and fuel filter, now is the time to do it. The boat that we are working on in this video was serviced around 10 hours ago, so we are not going to give her a full service at this point. However, some handy things to have while servicing are a filter wrench, oil, your new filters, some cleaning cloth and a sump pump. We like the self-contained peeler ones, they keep your oil stored nicely whilst you're working and you don't have to balance an oily bucket inside your boat. Ok, let's disconnect the hose pipe from the flush muffs and get ready to connect the funnel and hose to the stern drive. This means you can add your antifreeze to the cooling system. A Jubilee clip top and bottom of the hose is a good idea you should end up with something looking like this. Once attached to your flush muffs, tighten up your Jubilee clip. This avoids any leakage and it popping off whilst you're pouring in antifreeze. Once your funnel and hose is connected up securely, you're going to need a friend or an extra pair of hands to help you. This is because you or your friend are going to have to hop inside the boat with the fogging oil ready to spray down inside the carburetor. So jump aboard and remove the flame arrester. Use your ring spanner to undo the bolt on the top of the flame arrester. Do not lose it. Put it somewhere safe. Remove the strap and then the arrester itself. You will end up looking at the top of your carburetor. This is where you will be spraying your fogging oil in just a moment. Time to restart your engine. So make sure your friend is ready to pour the antifreeze down the funnel Run the engine until you see the blue of the antifreeze start to come out of the exhaust outlet as pictured. At this point, spray fogging solution down the carburetor or air intake until the engine stumbles. Slow the engine to tick over and continue to spray the solution until the engine starts to cough, usually around about 5 seconds. It should sound something like this. Then shut off the engine. This whole procedure should not take more than 15 to 20 seconds as impeller damage could result. Replace your flame arrestor in reverse to how it was removed. Ok, so that's now the most difficult part over and now it's just time for some preventative maintenance. Disconnect the battery and grease the terminals, unless you need the automatic bilge pump to keep working during the winter. The battery should be charged and discharged regularly over the winter to keep it in good condition. Next we need some grease, because we are going to remove the belts and store them somewhere you won't forget over the winter. We need a 17mm ring spanner to slack off the tensioner pulley, but check which one's one that you need as all applications are different. We found some of the pulleys to be a bit rusty. With these rusty, rusty pulleys we gave them a quick wire brush and then took our paintbrush and made sure that we greased them all thoroughly.
The final job is spraying the whole engine and stern drive in a corrosion inhibitor. We use Quicksilver Corrosion Guard, but you can also use WD-40 or duck oil for an equal job. Spray liberally over the entire engine. Pay particular attention to any electrical connectors. Now you need to jump back out of the boat and spray the stern drive in the corrosion guard as well. Again, make sure that you spray liberally, paying particular attention to hoses and electrical connections. If you are removing your prop for storage, now is the time to do this. Right, finally, it's time for a cup of tea and a biscuit, and have a read of our winterization guide on our website, www.aquaparts.co.uk, and go to the blog section. Thank you for watching.